Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Hello, it's Tuesday, January 8th. I'm Keenan Smith. Two men are now in custody in connection with the smash and grab at Costco in Commerce Township. The robbery happened at the store on 14 Mile and Haggerty last night. The men led police on a chase that ended in West Bloomfield near the intersection of Maple and Inkster. One person was arrested then, but a second person escaped. A manhunt for that second person lasted for about two and a half hours. And today, community members will say their final goodbye to a Northville family killed by a wrong way driver. The horrific crash happened early Sunday morning on a highway in Lexington, Kentucky. The Abbas family was coming back from vacation when that driver hit them. And leaders from the Canadian Union Unifor are expected to meet with GM leaders today at the Rensen. Now, this comes just hours after a TV campaign was launched trying to save around 3,000 jobs in Canada. GM also plans on shutting down the Pole Town plant on the Detroit Hamtramck border. That's set to happen at the end of June. That closure would eliminate about 1,500 jobs. I'm meteorologist Kevin Jeans this afternoon. Good chance of rain. Temperatures, meanwhile, will be in the mid 40s, a little bit warmer south of 94, a little bit colder and to the north and across the thumb. But the chance of rain lasts through the afternoon and then this evening after about 5 p.m. could be some snow north of I-69. One to two inches of snow possible around Bad Axe in the northern edge of the thumb, but around Metro Detroit. No accumulating snow, but we may see some snowflakes kind of as we wrap up the day. And then breezy and cold tonight with lows in the mid-20s. A few flurries possible overnight and through the day tomorrow, but it's going to be chilly and cold. Winds 10 to 20 miles per hour with a high only of 30. Wind chills will be in the teens tomorrow. Highs will only be near 30 for the rest of the week. All right, thanks a lot, Kevin. What was once a rundown old factory is slowly becoming one of Metro Detroit's hottest spots. And that spot is the Iron Ridge Marketplace. It's in Ferndale along the border with Pleasant Ridge. The 13 acre development already has at least eight stores open for business. A brewery, restaurant and entertainment venues are also in the works as well as plans for office space. So what's old is new again. Don't forget you can get the news anytime at WXYZ.com and the free seven app. I'm Keenan Smith. Have a great day. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.